did you have fun doing that? Yeah. Yeah. I always have fun when you gotta listen to me. Like when you can't talk back and you can't complain and you can't not that you're a big complainer, but when you can't excuse you. Uh what? You, what are you gonna say? When you have to do everything I say? Oh yeah, I love it. Let's see if listening to my husband will make me a better golfer. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Communication is key. What's up? We are here once again at our home course, Navy. We are going to be doing caddy versus client. No, this is uh, <laughs> husband and wife. And as you know, communication is key. So I'm gonna be telling her what clubs to use, where to hit, how to stand, all that good stuff. And uh, we'll see who's the better communicator and who's the better listener. Let's go. <laughs> so we are starting on hole number one here at Navy Golf Course. What's the read, Caddy? We're on the first hole, and this hole is about 240 yards. I think she's better with her hybrid sometimes. Keep in mind, we haven't had any warm up at all, so we're just stepping on here cold, and Rachel hasn't played for probably about a week or two. <laughs> So this is probably gonna be a disaster, but we're gonna have a good time and um, I'm just gonna enjoy her listening to me without questioning. And what club am I using? Oh my gosh, I can't even tee up correct. Let's use your three wood. Your three? And the thing I like about this club is you just hit it like a regular iron. You don't have to jump into this and, you know, try and hit up on it or just place it in the middle of your stance. Hit a pretty good solid swing. All right, I'm gonna, the guy just walked off the Rachel green, so. Rachel has a hard time keeping her arms straight, so we'll see how this works out. Ugh. It always goes by the trees. What are your thoughts? Pretty good contact. Um, she left her club face open, so we went right. Or right. <laughs> There's trees to the right. This is going to get interesting very quick. For not warming up, yes, I did leave my club open, but at least I made contact and it sounded nice. <laughs> All right, Caddy, what are you thinking? Uh, approaching this ball, I'm thinking you're a lot more behind the trees than I initially thought. I thought you had an angle. You may not. This is a par four, so I'm going to, I'm not gonna ask you to do something incredible, like, you know, fade it around a tree or do <laughs> That's something. because I don't know how to do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna have you is use maybe your seven iron and try and de-loft it and just come through like that. So we're lining it up on my back foot. Yeah. De-lofting it. Yeah. Like that? Yep. Yeah. Does that look okay? Aim towards that green. Sign? Sign, yeah. It didn't work very well. Well, I didn't work very well but we move forward. <laughs> we move forward. Where did it go? Right here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It went right there. Okay, so Caddy, right. what should I use? Now we're in a little bit better position. Yeah, we're in the rough, but I think if you use a nine, you should get, you hit it solid, solid contact, you should get on the green. Yes, 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 Roll yes, up there. yes, yes. Oh. Okay. Not bad. It was good distance and good contact. I was short, just a little, but not horrible. All right, so what should I do, Caddy? This is my So like shot. we always say, this is her fourth, fourth shot. Bogey golf is enjoyable golf. So what I would probably recommend she does is chip using her 58 
Oh God, this is the worst She usually kind of thins it or fats it or hits it too hard, but I'm gonna ask her to just put it on her back foot a little bit, uh, put her weight on her right side. Right? I mean, I'm sorry, on her left side, yeah. And then on her left side, and then just don't take it back fully, just maybe like a court, yeah, right there. There we go, oh. Okay, yeah. not bad. At least it didn't, I didn't thin it, and it didn't shoot out the other side of the green. All right, time to putt. We are on the green, putting for bogey. I would say this is breaking left to right, Oh. All right, double bogey. Nick's direction and everything was great. I just, um, it's me. <laughs> 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 like that second shot was pretty bad, but I did recover a little bit and two putted, so that's not horrible. That's not horrible. So we are approaching the second hole here at the cruiser course at Navy. This one I believe is like a par three. What do you think I should use? Usually this hole is about 140 yards. Maybe if you use your seven iron. Sometimes like that first hole, like when I do okay, kind of tricks me because then after that I suck. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, it's gonna be good today. And then it's all bad after. Part of a caddy's job and part of a husband's job is to be a cheerleader, an encourager, to put you in the right position. So I'm not gonna allow you to suck today. And if we get any bad positions, then I'm going to try and help you get out of them. 135. Tee up right here. Let's see here. Well, your last one went a little bit right. Man, Let's go. A little bit over here. Okay. It See went how right. So I guess it's good that I teed up over here because my club face is open today. Yeah, everything is going to the right. We are 45 away from the holes. Let's do a gap wedge. Let's do okay. a gap wedge. A nice little swing. Um, full not full, swing, not huh? full. Just maybe like a quarter swing. Aim left of the flag. There we go. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> we are on the green. Stop. Stop rolling. Stop. Stop. Ah. Stop. Okay. We're putting for par. I think you're gonna make this one. Okay. Uh, this so one is again breaking left to right. Okay, so I think you are lined up very right right now. Like Okay, so So this way. Yes, better. Better? Yep, step into that. Oh my gosh. I'm like focusing on hitting this like swing straight that I'm not hitting the ball. Oh, I'm hitting him so soft. That one you actually hit with some pace. There you go. Good job, babe. You know, just a nice little four pot. <laughs> Putting is one of those things that you can work on in your living room. As a basketball player, you can always work on dribbling. There's no reason why you should be a bad dribbler. So you can putt in your living room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, this is hole number three. This is our last one that he's gonna caddy me, caddy me on. Where are we at? 154. Don't go in the bunker. Okay. 
Wait, did it roll in the bunker? Ah, yikes. We might be in the bunker. Bunker shots. Sometimes I can get out, sometimes I can't. With that 57, weight on your left, right under that ball. Big swing, get all of it. Oh, same thing you just did. was a really ugly out, it out. but it's out. I'm oh, the cat. Okay. You're the cat. Yikes. All right. That was ugly. <laughs> it only took me one, two, three, four times to get out of the sand. Yeah. Rachel, how did I do? I thought you did amazing. We had one hole that fell apart on us. Two, we had two holes. It took me like a whole bunch of putts to get into the second hole. It took me four times to get out of the bunker on this last one. So, I mean, we walk away from these holes knowing what you individually need to work on, which is putting. Putting and short game. Yeah. Did you have fun doing that? Yeah. yeah. I always have fun when you got to listen to me. Like when you can't talk back and you can't complain and you can't, not that you're a big complainer, but when you can't, uh, what, when, what are you going to say? When you have to do everything I say, oh yeah, I love it. <laughs> 